Uh, welcome back to the Offbeat Sports Podcast. Today we're joined by Patriots rookie running back, uh, 2018 Associated Press All-American, 2018 All-Pac-12 All first team, and 2018 Associated Press All-Pac-12 first team, J.J. Taylor. Uh, thanks for joining us today. We're really pumped to talk to you. I mean, I appreciate it. I appreciate you all, you know, putting me on here. So how's, uh, how's quarantine been? Uh, man, this quarantine's actually been pretty good, even though you uh, haven't been able to do some of the things that I've wanted to do. But it's been it's been a, a good experience, and you know, nice nice mental mental preparation for everything. So we started the entire idea of our podcast based on senior year, and you know what you do and what we've gone through as seniors, and what other people experienced as seniors in high school Mm -hmm. so for you personally what was it like your senior year of high school I mean I guess my senior year of high school was just um I guess the first you know the first half to senior year was just straight business all football um just football in school for me and then um I guess after football season was over I really got the got the chance to just really enjoy, you know, being around my friends, my teammates, and getting to be with them, you know, for the last time, and just enjoying that moment, really. Taylor to the five, he leaps into the end zone, <laughs> head over heels. So going into your um, your college career, uh, what well, was there anything about the program that made you choose Arizona when you were being recruited? Uh. I guess you can say that um, I had two two Pac-12 offers coming out of high school, and that was between Washington State and Arizona. And um, for me, it was more of the fact that, you know, they were a running team, and they also passed the ball, but they emphasized the run more than Washington State did. And, I would, you know, for me, it was more of coming to prove a point and show, like, everybody that, you know, I could run the ball and is – not just be a pass catcher and things like that. What would you say was your favorite part about being at Arizona? Um, I would say, you know, meeting, meeting new people. I've uh, built a lot of good connections with a lot of people, whether it was with people that were on the coaching staff, on the strength staff like that, um, teammates, and even people – outside of the football team. And I think that was my favorite part is being able to connect with other people. So stemming off into some of your, or one of your accomplishments that you had at Arizona, how did it feel to be named an all American in 2018? I mean, I guess, I guess it was a nice, nice achievement. It didn't really, I wouldn't say it didn't mean that much to me because I'm more of a, you know, a team guy like I really care about how the team's doing and winning games and things like that so it was it was a nice accolade to have but I didn't really you know think about it too much was there a specific teammate that mentored you when you were young in the program oh uh I would for sure say um Samaje Grant and um Nate Phillips, and there's also Nick Wilson, and and all the other running backs that were above me, for sure. In uh, in 2018, you had an insane game. It was everywhere, and you ran for 284 yards and two touchdowns. In your like during that game, what's going through your mind? Oh, that whole game, the only thing that was going through my mind is um, the one fan member who decided to say something to me before the game and asked, he literally came up to me as we were walking out and said, why is the ball boy or why is the uh, water boy dressing out to play? And then it was just like, I was just like, what? And then it was like, my six, my uh, six-year-old is, is taller than you. So it just really... It really caught me off guard, and I was just like, I was like, I'm gonna meet you. I'm gonna meet you right back in this spot after the game, and you know, we can we can 
can talk. So that's what I was thinking about Toge. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, so, um, uh, going uh, going into this season, um, what is your approach going to be to try and earn yourself a roster spot with the Patriots? Um, I guess just getting to know my playbook and just working hard. That's that's my expectations for for myself is to really you know learn the system and and just be a sponge, absorb everything that's given to me and and just do work. Uh, so um, this or uh, this season, uh, which Patriot are you uh, most looking forward to working with? All of them, to be honest. You know, everybody that's been there and has experience with being in the league. You know, I really want to connect with all of my teammates and actually uh, get to know them as individuals, but then also learn how they work and learn how you know, learn what their routines are, so I can so I can figure out you know what would be best for me. And you know, just following the footsteps of the people that have been there. Who have you spoken with inside the Patriots organization so far? Um, I would say a couple, couple of the rookies coming in, and then um, you know the running backs that are that are already there. So that's about it. <laughs> When you were in college, you wore the number 25 and the number 21 separate seasons. Did they hold any kind of significance, or was it just kind of luck of the draw number? Uh, well, I got there, and someone else who already had 21, so that number was unavailable at the time. And then um, after my first game, 25 got taken from me because um, there was – I was playing on special teams, and there was another dude who was on special teams, so I had to switch to number 23. And, I mean, I wouldn't say there was a significance to it. You know, all it is really is, is a number. You just wear it. So. so what do you think that your play style could bring to the Patriots? Um, I, really, I really don't know. I feel like my play style is – is just going to bring something, hopefully, that they don't have. Uh, gr- growing up, um, just uh, who was your biggest, like, role model or inspiration? My father. My dad was, for sure, my biggest, my biggest role model. He's, um, he's been there for me through the ups and through the downs. And um, I can honestly say that uh, He's been there more for the downs than the ups because whenever I was down, he was always there to, to, to pick me back up and, you know, put me back on the right on the right path that I needed to be on. Um, so when you're growing up watching football, like, who was your, who was your favorite NFL player to watch? I'd say uh, Danny and Thomason and, and Barry Sanders. That's a run the play. And up J.J. Taylor, right side. Spins oh. away at the 15 15- if you hadn't got signed by an NFL team, what would your plan have been? Um, to still keep trying. I mean, I've seen a lot of people who haven't got picked up and, you know, they kept working out, kept doing things and, you know, finally end up getting something and, you know, just find an opportunity. So. so now we also have a follower submitted question. Uh, what NFL player would you say is most uh, you would compare yourself to in your style of running? Uh, everybody likes to compare to compare me to a Tariq Cohen, so I would, you know, say the same thing. Hmm. Uh, what uh, if you, like, you probably watched Tariq Cohen? Like, what is your favorite part of his game that you, that you would uh, try and model uh, your game after? This is. Um, if I had to model anything after him, it would be his mentality. You know, for you to be – to be – to play in the league and to be short, apparently it's a disadvantage in some people's eyes. So, he would, uh, you know, model his mindset and, and his work ethic. So, um, so now just bring it full circle to, for the whole senior thing. Like, if there was any advice you could give the seniors that are going through this right now, like, what would you tell them? Don't stress. 
I know, you know, things can be hard or things can be very good, but the worst thing you can do is, is stress about anything. Just keep doing what, you know, you've been doing since freshman year. Just keep working, keep grinding, and, you know, things end up working out for the better when you don't stress and just keep your head straight and keep working. Screen pass, and it's caught. 35 down to the 30, 25. Over oh, a man at the 20 and a first down. J.J. Taylor. And that's just about all the questions we have. So uh, thank you, J.J. Taylor, for taking the time to do this interview with us. Appreciate Good it. to have you. Um, good luck in the season, and um, uh, we hope to see you in a Patriots uniform all season. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Thanks for the day. Yeah, thank oh, yeah. you.